Okay. Am I audible? Class? Yes, po. Okay. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, po, ma'am. Good, Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay. So, how's your day so far? Um, your what happened this day, or are you tired, or something like that? I want to hear your stories before we start our session. Lori Jane, how are you today? Okay, po, ma'am. Again? Uh, you're not audible. I'm feeling great, po. How about Nika? I'm fine, ma'am. Just a bit tired. Um, our schedule is kind of tight right now because of the performance tasks and exams, and we still need to have a lesson before the finals will start next week. And I really understand that you get tired because of our online setup, okay? So before our class start, let me discuss the class rules. Give me your full attention. Opening of other tabs or application is strictly prohibited during this session. Turn off your microphone unless the teacher asks you to unmute it. And lastly, open your cam if you have a strong internet connection. Are my rules clear? Yes. Okay. So, read the sentence that I flashed on the screen. Anyone? Okay, Erica. I like the woman who lives next door. Mm -hmm. Now, read the next sentence. Okay, Nikaela. My best friend, who is very nice, lives in Manchester. As we can see, this sentence have clauses and there and what do you, what do we call that clauses is relative clause later we will we will differentiate what's the difference between these two sentences what's what is defining clause and what is not defining clause so first let me define relative clauses relative clauses add extra information to a sentence by defining a noun or identify the person, thing, that we talk about in a sentence. For example, in this sentence, the, the one we talked about in this sentence is the woman. And the additional information here is who lives next door. In, in, this, in the next sentence, the one we talked about here is the best friend. And the additional information here is who is very nice. Before we proceed to non-defining and defining clause, let me introduce to you first the relative pronouns that we might encounter in defining and non-defining clause. Relative pronouns link the main clause with the relative pronouns. These are the who, that, for people, that, for things, where, for places, and who's for possessions. Um, the relative the relative pronouns for defining clause and non-defining clause are similar but what's the difference between defining clause and non-defining clause in defining clause the information that we added to the sentence makes sense for the main clause if we remove it the main clause will become nonsense for example i like the woman who lives next door who lives next door is essential for this sentence. If we remove who lives next door, I like the woman will, will be nonsense. Meanwhile, the non-defining clauses, um, it adds information that is not essential to the main clause. If we remove it, the main clause or the main sentence will stand alone. For this sentence, my best friend, who is very nice, lives in, Mas in Manchester. If we remove who is very nice, my best friend lives in Manchester, can stand alone. Another, um, 
another indication that a sentence is a non-defining clause is it's the main clause and the relative clause is separated by a comma. Is that clear? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. So now I want to ask you if you really uh, understand our discussion. Kindly differentiate the defining and non-defining clause. Um, Laura Jane, can you differentiate the, the two? Defining clause can stand alone and the non-defining, um, if you remove the important uh, part like who is very nice or, or another example, it cannot stand alone. Okay. Or it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. How about the non-defining clause? Anyone can define? Um, okay, Erica. I, is that Erica or Mika? Yes, po. Erica, po. Okay, Erica. The non-defining clause, po, is uh, separated from the main part of the sentence by commas, po. Okay. And if we remove it, will the sentence stand alone? If we remove the... Yes, po. Okay. Yeah, I... It's, it's good that you understand our discussion before we move to the assessment. Identify the clause of each sentence, then tell me if it is defining or non-defining clause. So, for example, here, um, the clause here is who is very nice. Then you will say that is, that's a non-defining clause. For, for this, no man, um, the clause here is who lives next door and it is not defining clause. Are, is my instruction clear? That's cool. Okay. So for the first one, anyone who who wants to answer the first okay, Erica Palma. Um, I think this sentence is a non defining clause mm -hmm. because it has comma and okay. that the clause is which is in soul. Okay, you're right. Now, for the second sentence, okay, Mika. Um, this sentence is our. Uh, it is non-defining. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it is added an additional information, which is not really uh, necessary. And if we remove who was a major, who was a major film star. The sentence alone, can, uh, the sentence the celebrity yes. was photographed on the red carpet can stand alone, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The next one, LJ, I want to hear something from you. Is this a defining or non defining? Defining. Okay, what's the, main, what's the relative clause here? Whose doors are shuttered. Okay, so if we remove whose doors are shuttered, do you think the sentence will make sense or it doesn't make sense? It doesn't although, make sense. Huh? Although it makes kind of sense, um, parang kulang po. Okay, kulang you're yung right. Sense. You're right. Next, uh, next one, anyone? Okay, Erica? Uh, this, is, this sentence is a non-defining clause and uh the clause here is which was rumored to be the most expensive in the world book mm -hmm. and do you think that it will make sense if we we remove the relative clause yes po. okay for the last example um mika um the sentence is defining plus. Mm -hmm. Is it If we remove the relative plus, will will the sense will the sentence stand alone or it will not stand alone? It will not. Okay. So I will post your assignments and quizzes 
in our Google Classroom. So thank you for this day. Thank you for listening to our discussion. You all did well. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, Goodbye class. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, po. Thank you.